sounds like you'd like to have lots of fun. Is that true? Yeah, well, me too. In fact, I was just on my way to my friend Bear's house. See if he wanted to come outside and play. Now, do you guys know Bear in the Big Blue House? I know that Bear loves it when friends come over to play. So let's let him know that we're all out here, okay? All right, now on the count of three, we're all going to yell really loud, Hey, Ben! You ready? One, two, three! Hey! out for a walk, and I heard all these wonderful voices calling my name. That's because I brought some friends with me today, Bear. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Hey, Bear, why don't we give them a great big bear a walk? Just 
that starts with. What does gorilla uh, start with, everybody? Uh, G. G. That's right. Here it is. He says here, gorillas are the largest member of the ape family and weigh as much as 400 pounds. Oh my, that's a lot of pounds. I can be big, big, big. Aha, I was right. It says gorillas enjoy crooning each other and they can often be found picking through one another's hair. Wow, that's cool. Gigantic, eh? What's he saying, Dennis? I hope he's not saying he likes fish sticks. <laughs> Did you guys know? That's how gorillas sing along. So let's all sing a little bit, gorilla, like this. Great job, everybody. Look how happy you made. Hi, Mr. Gorilla. Do you have to brush your teeth every day? <laughs> Do you think gorillas eat goldfish, Stanley? Uh, let's look in the book. He's, a, he's picking through my hair. They only eat plants, fruits, leaves and tree bark. With the occasional bug thrown in. <laughs> hey, I don't have any bugs in my hair, Mr. Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> he's grooming you just like a little ape. Thanks, Mr. Gorilla, for helping me get cleaned up. You better go now so I can brush my teeth before bed. I thought you didn't like to wash up, Stanley. Hey, if a 400 pound gorilla can keep himself clean, so can I. Good point! Bye bye, Mr. Gorilla. Dennis, I never would have known anything about gorillas if it weren't for you. That's what friends are for, old pal. Seed Sutter, friends can help you figure out your problems. Yeah! Oh, I can do this thing for Stanley! Exactly. Just like Bear and Pip and Pop and Ojo and Trilo do for you. Yeah! I made another story! Another story? Oh, do make me feel less shy. Okay, Sutter. You guys want one more story, right? Once upon a time in the Hundred Acre Wood, Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore were enjoying a beautiful afternoon. This is the most perfect day of all. I couldn't agree more, Piglet. It is a perfect day for a snickle of honey. I wish I had a pot of honey. I really wish I do. For if I had a pot of honey, my tummy would have honey too. Oh, yum. Then it's a good thing you do have a pot of honey, Pooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Indeed I do. Well then, it is a perfect day. Perchance? Oh, let 
Mount Sinai, take a look. If your perfect name is Mount Sinai, Mount Sinai, and your if your perfect name is Mount Sinai, and if my perfect name is Mount Sinai, if I'm not a man, well, how can we all be right? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, brother. Perhaps we can ask Mr. Narrator. Oh, did someone call me? Oh, yes, Mr. Narrator. Oh, I was just wondering, what is the perfect day? Well, there's no such thing as one perfect day. We all like different things. Because we each different. So we can all have our own special day. Oh, yes. So true. Now, most people know how we like how they soon Say, Luna, before you go, would you help us say a goodbye song? 